Yo, welcome back everybody to another episode of Hogwarts Legacy. Alright, let's go talk to Sebastian. Or Sebastian. Sebastian, there you are. I was hoping to see you. I was in the three broomsticks after the troll attack and saw what happened with Rookwood and Harlow. Not many students have Victor Rookwood's attention. What was that all about? Oh, I tell you nothing. I've never even met him. Perhaps he mistook me for another student. If you say so. I won't press you now, but you will have to tell me what's going on at some point. You might need me. So, why were you looking for me? I need to find something for Professor Fig, but it's in the restricted section of the library. <laughs> he can't get it himself? He was called away by Black at the last moment. I suppose I could wait to get a note from him, but... You want to show some initiative. Precisely. You mentioned being clever enough not to get caught in the restricted section. And I am. Meet me outside the library tonight, and tell no one. So what happens if we're caught? What will happen if we're caught in the restricted section? Detention, no doubt. But a word of caution or two will help. For one, avoid Peeves, the poltergeist. Aside from wanton destruction of property, he loves nothing more than telling on the likes of us. How concerned should I be about the librarian? Madam Scribner doesn't take kindly to clandestine activities taking place amongst her precious books. So do all that you can to avoid her. She and I have had our entanglements, but I can hold my own against her. You may not be so lucky. Jerk. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll meet you later. Go ahead and get down here. See there? That's the door we need to reach. And those annoying prefects would love nothing more than to rat on us to Scribner, so don't let them see us. Understood? I can be sneaky. Let's go. Hold on now. There's a spell you should know. The disillusionment charm. Good for getting places you're not supposed to be. Cast it and you'll appear as little more than a trick of the light, just as long as you keep your distance and stay quiet. You mean I'll actually be able to turn invisible? Something like that. It's not as foolproof as a cloak, but those are expensive. And spells, spells are free. Give it a try. Lumos! Lumos! Uh, whoops. I'll be quieter than a job or not. Usually, but it'll still be all right. Do you see her desk behind me? The key is in the drawer of that desk. Now, here's what we're going to do. I'll create a distraction to draw her away. You focus on getting the key. I'll meet you outside of the restricted section. 
Wait, why do we need a key? Isn't there a spell for this? Alohomora. That's how I always used to get in. But the librarian twigged that I knew the spell and cast an anti Alohomora charm on the lock. So now it's just this key. But don't worry. I said I'd get you in, and I always keep my word. Trust me. Alright, go set your stuff off. Is someone there? Is that you, Peeves? So difficult after all. How to find that book? Gotta get my spectacles first. All right. So basic cast on undetected alert authority figures and enemies to a location. Okay. Cool. Ghost, don't let her see you. Quietly now. Now, this library is freaking Should be in the clear now. No need for us to be skulking about. Revelio! Oh. So what is it you've been looking for? I'm looking for a cure to help my twin sister, and so that she can return to Hogwarts. Because Merlin knows everyone else has given up. Why do you think we'll find a cure in the restricted section? Does the Hogwarts matron have nothing that can help her? No! We've tried everyone from Nurse Blaney to St. Mongo's. But I can research on my own. No need to concern yourself with that right now. Let's focus on what you're after. Which is what, precisely? I'll know it when I see it. You're being awfully cryptic. Secrets of the darkest arts. I'm impressed. That looks cool as crap. Oh, I don't know what that is. Revelio. Who have we here? Sebastian Summer and his new little friend. Out exploring where they shouldn't be. Naughty, naughty, you'll get caught. Peeves, don't you. I'm going to tell. I'm going to tell. I'm going to tell. <laughs> oh, blasted Peeves. I've got to stop him or at least get to the librarian with a good excuse for all of this. How do I know you won't go to the librarian and blame this all on me? Why would I do that? I like having friends who are in my debt. Now go. Good luck in your search. Now, where has that damned poltergeist got to? I know just the spell to repair this armor. Alright, 
let's get out. Repairo. Um, <coughs> for there for right now. Repairo. All right, we gotta search for the secret room. Revelio. Heck yeah, let's get some galleons. Oh. Oh, that's cool. We need that. Oh, what's this? Of course, traces of ancient magic. That's it. Some gloves. Where might this lead? Probably the whatever you say. Surprising gods at the right. Uh, so we need that, and I think okay, we can live with those. Actually, let's put put that guy out there. So our gift of ancient magic accumulates by successful attacking or taking damage. If we do 10 plus hit combos, we begin generating magic power-ups. Awesome. And we recover a small amount of health. That is perfect. Okay, so when our ancient magic is full. Okay, perfect. That's cool. Get you some, get you some. Uh, I want what's over there. How do I do that? There's definitely probably something in here, right? to do because I have not seen anything.
Oh, that was. Revelio. Nice. Man, it's gonna bug the piss out of me that I don't know how to get there. This must be the way forward, but to where? Oh my gosh, that's embarrassing. I get here. Solid, I guess, scarf. Nearly there. Best keep my wits about me. Nice mask. Okay. Let me go. Ortego. Incendio. Oh, shoot. Is a book after all. Oh.
One homie, heal the heal the Oh. You wanted to see me, Headmistress Fitzgerald, Professor Rackham. Miss Isadora Morganach, welcome. Professor Rookwood, Professor McCaw. We understand that you are adjusting well to life at Hogwarts. I am. I am glad. Especially in light of your unusual situation, starting as a fifth year. As it happens, I was also admitted to Hogwarts as a fifth year. I have never heard of another like us. Miss Morganoff, when we spoke yesterday after class, you asked about the... The beautiful swirls you saw years ago when we visited your hammer. I recognized you all immediately. I cannot thank you enough for what you did. We were glad to help. And yes, I did see swirls of magic everywhere that day. My father insists it was my imagination running wild, but it was certainly real to me. It was not your imagination. Percival, Professor Rackham can see them too. But we have never known of another who could. I don't understand. What are they? The whispers or traces that appear when a particular form of ancient magic is wielded. Ancient magic? Few are capable of wielding it. Hogwarts itself is a stronghold of ancient magic. So if I can see traces of ancient magic, does that mean I can wield it too? With the proper training. But let us not get ahead of ourselves, Miss Morganock. Before I can train you to wield such magic, you must first master all that Hogwarts has to offer. A magic this powerful can do great harm in the wrong hands. It must be wielded by a select few. As such, we ask that you not speak to anyone about what we have discussed here today. Great power comes great responsibility. Sebastian. Sneaking in the restricted section again! I had thought we were through with this mischief. Clearly detentions are insufficient. I'm afraid I must take this to the headmaster. But that being said, Peeves informs me that you didn't come alone tonight. If someone has coerced you, I would have you tell me. You're a bright boy. Don't waste this. There was nobody else. I came alone. Wow. Oh, Sebastian. What will your uncle say? Revelio. Oh, let's get this over here. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. All right, let's see uh, <clears throat> what we got going on here. Oh yeah, we're gonna look horrible, but. <laughs> I guess. Uh, so that's defense. Okay, well. Prunate gate. We got anything else now? Uh, I look like a doofus. Let 
mysterious book. And okay. Uh, all right, we good. Let's talk to a professor. You cannot be serious. Goblins working with Rookwood makes no sense. It is rather unorthodox, to say the least. Unorthodox? It's inconceivable. It's... Ah, Fig. You have a visitor. I'll see what I can find out. Hmm. Sir, I was able to search the restricted section while you were with Professor Black. It was a book we were after. What? That's... Wait. You accessed the restricted section? But how? Thinking on it, perhaps it's best you spare me the details. Fair enough. In fact, the book was below the restricted section as it appeared on the map. I want to hear everything. First, let's have a look. Oh. Oh dear. Some of these pages seem to be missing. It appears someone has got to the book before us. Still, I will need time to study what remains. Perhaps we can still salvage something useful, though it may take some time. I wonder why it was here, below Hogwarts. I think I know, sir. I saw two more memories where I found the book. Another pensive. Godric's heart. The man we saw before, Percival Rackham, was a professor here. The first memory showed him and three other professors using ancient magic to restore a hamlet from a drought. Miriam was right. And the second memory? They were talking to a student who started as a fifth year, like I did. She could see traces of magic too. Why those memories? Hmm, perhaps this book will explain. Now I'll have to take it with me to London. The headmaster has insisted that I speak directly to the minister about George's death. What will you tell them about Mr. Osric's death? I don't know how much I dare say. George tried to convince the Ministry about Ranrock, but to no avail. My instinct is to follow the path we are on for the moment and keep the details to ourselves until we know more. I understand. I'll see what I can learn about the missing pages while you're gone. Good. Don't neglect your studies. Your wand work is improving by the day. But you'll want to pay attention in herbology and potions. There's more to magic than spell casting. Plenty to keep me occupied while you're gone. You've done exceptionally well. I look forward to seeing all that you've accomplished when I return. Oh, and don't neglect your friends. You may be surprised by how much you can learn from them as well. 
Yes, sir. Oh, shoot. Level 9. Alright, well. I think we get... Oh, baby. rocking that. That is sick. <laughs> That's a, uh, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna rock that like we're a little aristocrat. Oh, we can change that too. Okay. That is... Okay, that's cool. I'm glad they did that because I was honestly curious because I got to obviously don't want to wear this the whole time, but still wanted to get the benefit of like wearing some of this stuff. Right, so I want that, but then come here, no appearance, but I still have it. Yep, perfect. That's awesome. Come here, I don't like the way this look. Boom, boom. Dope. Well, you know what? All right, we'll wrap it up here for today. Meet me in Lower Hogsfield as soon as possible. I would like to talk to you about Rookwood and Harlow, and it might be best to do so outside of the castle. Natty, I'm trying to do my outro. But, alright everybody, we'll wrap it up here. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, if you guys haven't already, hit the like button, subscribe. And until next Professor time... Professor Fig and Weasley oh have asked that I teach you an additional <laughs> defensive spell. Please complete the assignments I have given you, and then proceed to see me in my classroom. Can't... Can't even get uninterrupted time. Oh my gosh, this is massive. Okay, that's cool. Cool. But, love you guys. Peace.